Hi, I'm Skyler. Removing Microsoft Office from a Mac is actually really simple, a lot simpler than you'd think, and I'll prove it. So open up Finder and go to Applications. And I'm looking at List View right now. You can toggle between your different view modes up here. I'm going to stay in List, and I'm going to scroll down until I see Microsoft Office. There it is. I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to hold down the Command key and press Delete. It asks me for my password because I'm making a change to the system. So I enter it, press return, and it moves Microsoft Office to the trash. At this point, if I just emptied the trash, Microsoft Office is gone. It's left behind a few things, though. And if you really want to, you can go and get rid of them, like Microsoft Communicator, Microsoft Messenger. Do the same thing. Command, delete, bang, gone. However, there's a little bit left. Hold down Option and click Go at the top of your screen. Then click Library. Under Library, look for a folder called Preferences. It's right here. Click the Disclosure Triangle and scroll down until you see Microsoft, right here. These are preference files. They're tiny and they have very little effect on your computer if the software that they ma manipulate is not actually there. If you want to, you can delete them. No harm done. What you want to do after deleting all of this stuff, though, is repair your permissions. So click Spotlight in the upper right and type in Disk. Scroll down to Disk Utility and press Return to open it. Then highlight your hard disk and click Verify Disk Permissions. This basically will reorganize anything that got out of place when you were changing the file structure, i.e. deleting Microsoft Office. Once you've verified disk permissions, then click Repair Disk Permissions. And this will sort everything back into its proper place. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.